You only have to look around to see things that Thomas Alva Edison invented or made better. The prolific inventor, in his 84 years, Edison had 1093 patents to his name. Contributed to the incandescent light bulb, phonograph, electric systems, motion picture camera, telegraph, telephone, x-ray and so on. In honor of his birthday, Edupedia World is paying tribute to the world's most famous and prolific inventor. Thomas Alva Edison was born on February 11, 1847 in Milan, Ohio. He was the last of the seven children of Samuel and Nancy Edison. Thomas' father was a political activist from Canada. His mother an accomplished school teacher was a major influence in Thomas early life. Edison was a poor child as a student as his mind often wandered. The youngest of seven siblings, Earl as he was called in his youth, was deemed adult by his school teacher. Edison's mother was angry when she found out and pulled him out of school after only three months of formal education. She homeschooled him instead. Edison later recounted, My mother was the making of me. She was so true, so sure of me, and I felt I had someone to live for, someone I must not disappoint. When Edison turned nine, his mother gave him an elementary science book on how to do chemistry experiments at home. Edison was hooked. He did every experiment in the books and soon spent all his spare money buying chemicals. At the age of 10, Edison built his first science laboratory in basement of his family's home. His father tried to bribe him with a penny if only Edison would get out of the basement and go read a book. This he did, but he also used the penny to buy more chemicals for experiments. And to make sure no one took his prized chemicals, he labeled all his bottles poison. At around the age of 12, Edison started to lose his hearing. But one thing's for sure, Edison actually liked being deaf. Technically, he was hard of hearing, not completely deaf. He said that it made it easier for him to concentrate on his experiments. Twelve-year-old Edison took a job selling newspaper and candies on the Grand Trunk Railroad. He set up a lab for chemistry experiments and a printing press in baggage car, where he published the Grand Trunk Herald the first newspaper published on a train. At the Grand Trunk Railroad, 14-year-old Edison saved 3-year-old Jimmy McKenzie from a runaway boxcar. Jimmy's father was a station agent. J.U. McKenzie was so grateful that he taught Edison how to operate the telegraph machine. Later, Edison became a telegraph operator for Western Union. He requested the night shift so he could have more time for his experiments. One day, he accidentally spilled sulfuric acid while experimenting on a battery. The acid ran between the floorboards and onto his boss's desk below. Needless to say, Hedison was fired the next morning. In 1869, when Edison was just 22 years old, he got his first patent for a telegraphic vote recording machine on Christmas Day in 1871. At the age of 24, Edison married his 16-year-old employee, Mary Stilwell. By February, Edison was exasperated at his wife's inability to invent that he wrote in his diary. And he wrote, 
My wife Popsy Wopsy can't invent. Mary gave birth to three children. The first two Edison nicknamed Dot and Dash. Two years after Mary died, Edison met and married 20-year-old Mina Miller. The story of how the two met is quite interesting. After Mary's death, Edison regularly went to Boston and stayed with his friend Mr. and Mrs. Gilliard. The Gilliards made sure that some eligible young lady was visiting at the same time. Edison, who was half deaf, bird eye and band dandruff, would stick his face very close to the girls in order to hear her words. This naturally creeped them all out. Edison taught Mina the Morse code so they could communicate in secret by tapping into each other's hand. One day, Edison proposed Mina in Morse code and she replied, yes. According to 1911 policy with the Mutual Life Insurance Company of New York, Edison had five dots tattooed on his left forearm. No one knew what the dots meant. In the late 1880s, Edison was embroiled in the War of Currents with George Westinghouse and Nikola Telsa. Edison had promoted the use of direct current, DC, for electric power distribution, whereas Westinghouse and Telsa wanted to use alternate current, AC. At the time, Edison had over 100 power stations in United States that delivered DC electricity to consumers. But because of power loss due to resistance of wire during transmission, the power station had to be located within a mile of the consumers. Edison's then employee, a brilliant Serbian engineer named Nikola Telsa, proposed that AC could solve this problem. But Edison didn't listen. To demonstrate that his DC system was better and safer, Edison noted that AC had a lethal potential and could be used to electrocute. Though he was against capital punishment, Edison developed the electric chair. In 1903, a circus elephant named Topsy killed three people including an abusive trainer who tried to feed her a lighted cigarette. The elephant was considered a threat and the owners wanted it executed. Edison saw a publicity opportunity and suggested electrocution with AC. During World War I, the US government asked Thomas Edison to head the Naval Consulting Board which examined inventions submitted by military use. Edison worked on several projects including submarine detectors and gun location techniques. However, Due to his moral indignation towards violence, he specified that he would work only on defensive weapons. Later noting, I am proud of the fact that I never invented weapons to kill. By the end of 1920s, Thomas Edison was in his 80s and he slowed down somewhat. But not before he applied for the last of his 1,093 U.S. patents. Edison and his second wife Mina spent part of their time at their winter retreat in Fort Myers, Florida, where his friendship with automobile tycoon Henry Ford flourished, and he continued to work on several projects, ranging from electric trains to finding a domestic source for natural rubber. Thomas Edison died of complications of diabetes on October 18, 1931. He was 84 years old. Many communities and corporations throughout the world dimmed their lights or briefly turned off their electrical power to commemorate his passing. Edison's career was the rag to riches success story that made him a folk hero in America. By the time he died, he was one of the most well-known and respected Americans in the world. He had been at the forefront of America's first technological revolution 
and set the stage for the modern electric world.